So something very surprising happened. This is one of my non-GMO Cornish crosses. And she has gone broody. And, you know, sometimes you have hens that will lay on, you know, eggs for a couple days and they go about their business. Well, this hen has four, a clutch of 14 eggs underneath her. And they're not all hers. And so this is very interesting because Cornish crosses are known to never go broody. I mean, these are one of the most unbroody chickens that, you know, science will tell you exists. But here she is. And we're going about two weeks now. And she's been sitting on these sitting on these eggs. So we're going to monitor the progress and see if anything hatches. Another interesting thing is where she decided to go broody. She went broody in the duck run, as you can see here. Now, what's interesting about that is the ducks don't really come in here a whole lot. They just go straight to the big, big large coop with all the other chickens and hens and roosters. They, they don't really utilize this area. But this, this, this hen has came in here and pretty much made this base her own. So... It's, I find that interesting because of how easy this is going to be to, if we need to, put up side panelings and doors or wire and give her her own little enclosure. And what's interesting about this prospect, if we can make that happen, is we can literally start to raise chicks totally 100% off grid. I mean, right now I do that with my incubator and my incubator can be run off a generator, no problem. But this takes it to the next level. This takes it to where there's no heating elements that's required. There's no electricity that's required. This is just a redundancy on a redundancy. So, you know, usually I would just take the chicken eggs and go about my day, but I find this to be just fascinating based upon the breed of chicken and based upon the fact that she has went broody and she's been sitting on this clutch for two weeks. And like I said, this can be easily transformed into a little off-grid chicken hatchery for mom and babies. Like that would be extremely easy to do. A water and a feeder and we're all set. So overall, this is super exciting. As you guys know, for me, I take everything from a very permaculture lens. It's all about permaculture. It's about working with nature. So when nature decides to do something like this, it is my job, my obligation as a good steward of the environment, as a good, you know, homesteader, as somebody who cares about animal husbandry to utilize what the animal is doing. So this hen is obviously telling me something and I'm going to listen. So instead of fighting against her, I'm going to fight for her. I'm going to fight with her. And that's how you have amazing things that happen. Again, it's all about redundancy, 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 re redundancy. It's easy for me to go in there, grab the eggs, put the eggs in an incubator, hatch them out and go about my day. In fact, that's what I do do. But when you have an opportunity like this that arises, it's just too great of an opportunity, especially from a preparedness and sustainability um, metric to, 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 to deny. So we're going to 100% support her on her journey here. And if she hatches out some eggs and has some chicks, that's going to be great. We'll make sure they have a safe space for them to grow up in. And we will encourage them to continue to do what they do naturally. So I'm super excited about this process. We will definitely keep you up to date. So she's already flared up on me. Most hens, they'll just get up and go. They'll get away from you, not her. She's obviously broody. She is 110% ready to defend her clutch of eggs, and that is very honorable. I just wanted to get up close to see what she would do, and she is going to stand her ground, and I respect that, and so we are going to work with her and her journey here. And as always, long live the Republic.